welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Alex and I am a full-time reseller online where I sell on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and Depop. So if you like anything reseller related content, please stick around. So um, in today's video, I have another haul for y'all. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of hauls. Maybe later this week, I'll probably throw up a what sold video for y'all of everything or a few things that has sold um, in the month of, let's see, we're in April. So in April and maybe like the last couple of things that have that has sold in March um, since I haven't done a what sold video in a while. So yeah, let's just get into it. Um, I have this Ikea bag and I have another Ikea bag full of things. Um, I might have to split this up into separate videos so we'll see where the time goes. Um, so the items that I have over here are, I think all of these are gonna be from um, thrift stores. And then this bag over here is uh, garage sales. So the first item I have is going to be this dream catcher. Um, let's see, it, it is a vintage dream catcher. How does this go like this? There we go. It's a vintage one. It says, um, I think it was 19, oh, 1997 on it. 1997, brand new tag still. Um, it's a black one. It has, it's quite large actually. Um, it has all of these really nice feathers and beading. Um, really good condition still. There was another one there at this thrift store, uh, but someone <laughs> saw it sitting in my cart and was like, wow, you got these uh, dream catchers that's really cool it's really nice and she was just looking I was like do you want one like <laughs> so I ended up giving her the other one um for her to go pay for herself and just took this one I think this one was two or three dollars I want to say it's been a little bit since I um purchased these things a few things have sold and I have already posted everything um for sale in this bag the next item um, I got was this Victoria's Secret pink fanny pack. I actually purchased two fanny packs. Uh, yeah, two fanny packs. It was one from H&M and then this one. And I think they were like a couple dollars each. I purchased this because I was thinking maybe I could use them. But I might still keep this one and see for like riding our bikes or like walking or something. Um, instead of taking a backpack or trying to fit everything in my um, pockets. But the other one I ended up selling for a couple dollars locally, like five dollars, just because it was a lot bigger and a little bit bulkier. And I found that I didn't really like the look of like the fanny pack like this um, or the belt bags like this. But since this one's smaller, I might give it another go and see how I like it. Um, but if not, then I will post it for sale. Uh, this next item has already sold. It's new with tags. River Island is the brand. Uh, this was 75 pounds. Um, I think that's probably like, what, 60, $70, um, US dollars. And it's this, um, it's like a pencil skirt sequin beaded um design it's really cool black and blue and green like mermaid <laughs> colors really really pretty it has all of this really nice sequins and beads it's so pretty um i paid like six dollars i think for this and this one already sold on best offer for $40 I want to say hopefully the people do end up paying for it because they haven't uh, completed their purchase yet um, The next item is going to be this vintage AKS is it AKS dress this one does have like I don't know I think it's like a bleach stain right here on the collar and on the inside somewhere but I didn't notice that when I purchased it it's like a, I don't think this is linen. Um, it's like lyocell, I think, or tinsel, or 
something of that fabric but it's just like this long 90s um, dress it has like these really cool tortoise shell buttons on the side um, and I thought this was super cute it has like um, you know sleeveless I could see someone wearing this with like a white shirt underneath it or as is um, and it's probably like a midi length I would say no slits, no slits, just straight down. Um, really cute. Uh, it reminds me of something that the teachers would wear like in the 90s or something, but hopefully that does good. If I s noticed that it had a stain, I probably still wouldn't have purchased it because I think that was like three or four dollars. Um, so I pr most likely would have left it behind. Um, the next bag, I'm pretty sure this is also a vintage one, but it is this really cool like crescent style hobo bag and it has like all of these, um, what are these, like um, discs on it? I don't know what these are, but all this cool disc, these cool discs this fringe attached to it um definitely like some of the trendier um i guess like on the trendy style i think the crescent bags were trending um recently this is by the brand elisa Ath athenan sense i don't know uh there's the brand in there um this one also has quite a few stains in it and I didn't notice it when I purchased it. So let me see, there's some stains in there. Um, yeah, so whenever you're purchasing at thrift stores, just be sure to like look over your items really good, put it in your cart and then before you purchase, look over it again because as you can see, I purchased two things that were stains that I didn't realize, but um, yeah, it's still a pretty cute bag. Hopefully someone can still purchase it and, and maybe get the stains out. Um, I think that was like four or five dollars. Uh, the next item I got was this messenger bag. Um, it has this uh, map design on it and it's just a flap right here. It's not magnetic or a button and it's the same on the back. It has like a cotton or canvas strap. Okay, so I had a phone call, but so on the inside, it just looks like this. It has like Velcro uh, snap closures right here. And then the brand is this, Alvero Martini made in Italy. And um, surprisingly, these um, look like they're worth um, a pretty good amount i think this one last had sold between like 80 or 90 dollars a couple of comps so that's where i priced this one hopefully it does sell i have sold um patricia bags patricia nash bags that were like this map design pretty good and i want to say that there was another brand i can't remember so um, hopefully this one does just as good okay, so the next item that i have here is going to be another purse this is a vintage faded glory denim and faux leather trim purse faux leather on the bottom and it has uh faded glory right here this is the only part where it says faded glory um there's nothing on the inside and um it's just like a cotton material on the inside and with velcro there was a couple of uh, other vintage bags there. There was like a guest vintage bag and um, there's a couple Tommy Hilfiger ones, but those were a little bit uh, more money and they had quite a few stains on them that I noticed. <laughs> so I just stuck with these couple of purses, even though that other black one does have a stain, but hopefully I can still sell it for like 30 or $40. Um, and this denim one I think was like four dollars so I think I might have it posted between 20 to 25. 
um and here is the next item which is going to be a vintage belt um i've been having a little bit of luck recently it's definitely like southwestern because it has like um a long corn yeah, a long corn i think that's a turtle um a lizard yeah a lizard a snake it has a snake on there i think it has an armadillo um, I think this is a, like a jackrabbit and the brand is um, Silver Creek Collection uh, USA Genuine Leather. So yeah, this is definitely um, vintage for sure. Um, and the belt buckle is pretty cool on there too. So I think I have this one posted 20 to $25. Um, so hopefully it does sell and the next item is another purse i got this one at a different thrift store um and it is a brahmin purse it's like a snake skin embossed leather uh, or also croc right here on the side and then like a snake print right here um it's the same on both sides except for this side has this little pocket um and this one also has like a few pin marks down in there there is the label if it will come out yeah there it goes there's the label in there um this is a really nice bag i love brahmin bags um i think this is like a leather lined interior um this one does not have the little brahmin do dongle thing that goes on the side um but this is a really nice bag it does have the strap um i don't think that this is going to be adjustable to cross body length definitely going to be more like a shoulder bag um but yeah this one was 15 dollars. really great quality and it does have feet on the bottom very minimal corner wear so i really love this one i debated on keeping that one but then i was like no i don't need any more bags <laughs> The next item I have a couple of pairs of vintage shoes so I saw these at a different thrift store um, they are little booties and it looks like that um, these are suede but like on the inside right here um, like part of the trim looks like it might be like snakeskin leather and it has like these really cool buttons here a little bit of a heel and it's a pointy toe boot. The brand is, um, I think it was JB Ghost, or but for sure I know it says Ghost right here. I can't remember, but I don't know if y'all are gonna be if it's gonna focus to see. But these are like three or four hundred dollar boots, and I didn't realize that when I saw them because I was looking and I didn't know what brand it was, and I was like, oh, these are pretty cool, but. I have so many boots already and I was like I don't need any more shoes or any more boots for that matter but I was like yeah these look pretty cool so I grabbed them I think they were ten dollars and then when I got home I did the research and they ended up being like a really good brand um, I'm not sure how well they're gonna sell or how fast they're going to sell but I do know that they retail for a lot um, and I don't believe that those are vintage i think those are modern um and then i got these pair of shoes they are hispanitas um sneakers definitely like a nudish um color and they have these shoelaces but they do not tie and they're really cool with a metallic right there per perforated toe and a little bit on the side um I guess this is their version of like the dad sneaker that's been trending for a while. Um, pretty comfortable. And how much did I pay for these? Like five or six dollars, I think. And these are leather, like they're suede right here and then leather on the tip. And I think these retail for like $200. Um, so that was a good find. I found another pair of vintage um, exhilaration sandals. These have like studs right here and has like a wooden block wedge type of heel or platform heel buckles in the front um and then like a 
I guess it's like microfiber interior and there's the brand exhilaration um, but these are a size five and a half so I don't know how quickly these are gonna sell because they're so tiny but um, I still couldn't pass them up because they were so cute so these are marked $9.99 but I did pay um, it was 50% off and I paid five dollars for those so still a pretty good deal and then I got another pair of boots. I don't know why I'm so attracted <laughs> to buying boots, but these are a vintage um, 90s little booty. It has like the woven brown leather. Um, it's more of a, I guess, almond shape. And it has like this really cool buckle right here. I thought these were Brighton when I first picked them up, but they are not. And it has like the croc embossed on the back. Um, a little bit of a heel and these are by the brand Justin um, hopefully yeah I think y'all can see Justin and these are really nice they barely even look like they've been worn a whole lot uh, but yeah these were I think these were also ten dollars so that is a little bit pricey <laughs> but oh well I picked up another vintage belt and this one doesn't have a brand maybe if it had a brand um it would get more um visibility i guess because things without brand sometimes are hard to like um for people to search for so um it's not really getting a whole lot of likes like i had hoped but it is um this double lion head gold um belt and this is definitely like a stretchy um material it's like a i guess a rope belt or a circular tubular belt but yeah it just unhooks and hooks right there and it's really cool definitely 80s um maybe even 90s but i had to pick this one up because i thought it was so cool um hopefully this one does pretty good. There was another one that was similar to this, um, same type of style, but instead of the line heads, it had like, I don't know, like some type of hook that looked like a paper clip. <laughs> so I didn't like that one as much as this one. And I think this one was like $3 maybe, or maybe two. Um, but yeah, I, I thought this was a good find. So that is all of the items that I got from a thrift store. So I'm just going to break it up and do this other haul in a separate video just because I do have quite a bit of stuff over there and um, I don't want this video to be like an hour long. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up guys. I would really appreciate it if all of y'all would hit the like button down below if y'all enjoyed this video, if y'all like my hauls. Um, and don't forget to subscribe on your way out so you can be notified of more videos when I post. I am now posting two times a week, Mondays and Fridays. I was doing three times, um, but life just gets in the way sometimes. So I uh, lowered it to two times a week. Maybe I'll do like double hauls or like a haul and a what's sold. I'm not sure. Or um, maybe I'll break it up and do uh, come thrifting with me and then the haul portion. I don't know yet but um and if y'all haven't checked out my description box below go ahead and check it out because i post links to my um, stores where i sell all of these awesome finds um, my tiktok even though i haven't been uploading as often as i'd hope um, and sometimes i post like um, thrift with me's there and different content in here so you can go ahead over and check that out and i also posted some amazon links in the description of the items that i like to purchase for my selling business like tape um poly millers i don't think i put any boxes in there um but other things that i use for my reselling business they are um, affiliated links so i will get a small commission on it but um, i think someone had asked me about my poly millers i don't remember if it was here or on Poshmark, someone had asked me about them. I can't remember, but anyway, it's all gonna be linked in the description box below. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.